Thank you everybody for coming in and joining me for another one of my YouTube videos. Season 7 is almost over. The preseason began today and holy cow what a crazy adventure it's been getting here so far. If you had told me the things that were going to happen through season 7 were going to happen at the beginning of the season, I would have told you you were crazy. The, met, the ever changing meta, the LCS finals, I mean nobody would have expected any of the things to happen that actually happened. Well maybe some of you did, but I don't have that type of foresight. So. Either way, I played more League this season than I've ever played before, and I'm going to show you a few clips of my journey. The eSports overthrow of the year, right? Nobody expected an SKT to lose. But you watch, at SKT and Faker are going to come back next season even bigger. So my season began in bronze, as it always does. I've always been a bronze player. I was able to get to gold in season four, thanks to Udyr. But he's not as meta as he was then. Now, I played the wrong champions to begin with, but I played a lot of them. I almost 1500 games this season. I started the season only having level 7 Diana. As you can see here in this list, I got five more level 7s and way more level 6s, some of those being just one S away from level 7. But at the beginning of the season, if you recall, it was the Assassin meta. You know, the Assassin update that had happened in Season 6 was still pretty strong. Rengar was still pick or ban in every game. Lee Sin was played so often, I was sick of him. But I played the wrong champion. I played Teemo in an Assassin meta. I played over 250 games straight of Teemo. While I had a lot of fun, that was probably a bad idea. The Assassin meta was just too strong. But then there's the mid-season update happened, and we got the tank meta. The tank meta was good to me. I played a lot of Zac. Everyone played a lot of Zac because he was picked or banned in almost every single game. He was updated. He was he was nerfed. He was buffed. He was updated again, and then he was nerfed and buffed, and hot, hot patched in just a week. This guy was so OP. I got level seven on Zac in one day. And then we got Sejuani. While I love Sejuani, I didn't play her as much as I did Zack or Maokai. I mained her in Season 5, but, you know, I still didn't feel as she was as strong as the other two champions. Except for an LCS, she was pick or ban in almost the entire season after her rework. And then in comes Maokai. This guy, I loved him before Season 7, and I love him even more now. Maokai is one of my favorite champions now. I mean, he'll probably be one of my favorite champions of all time. This guy is a beast. He can take a pounding. He dish out a pounding. He can heal through damage. I mean, this guy does it all. I mean, in a tank meta, you would think assassins like Vayne and Yasuo would be a really good counter to a tank, but no. Nothing beat him. But no matter what I did, I was either in the wrong place at the wrong time, I was just this close to victory, and either I would fail or my team would fail. Just couldn't get out of bronze. As you can see in this clip here, I, was, I think it's funny that I was able to find a clip of me failing and then my, my team failing directly after. But this was essentially how my entire season went, almost 1,500 games worth. Basically, at this point, I gave up. Pushed myself away from my desk and said, All right, I, I guess I'm a bronze main. I, I'll just play whatever champions I feel like are fun and troll people and see what I can do in bronze. And then I found this guy. Malzahar. Malzahar saved me. He brought me out of the trenches. And in 37 games, I was able to carry from bronze 5 to silver 5. It was so much fun because I won almost every single one of those games. My promos were a breeze. 
Malzahar for sure saved my season. So there I am. I made it. My goal was to get out of bronze this season, and I did it. It's silver five, but it's out of bronze. Now next season, maybe I can get, you know, to gold or platinum. We'll see. I learned a lot this season. I learned so much that I would say that before the season began, I didn't know anything. I, was, I knew less than anything. But this new season's coming up, and I expect some pretty big changes coming. I mean, it seems like it's going to be pretty crazy already, right? Joe here again on behalf of the League Dev Team. First, we're combining runes and masteries. That new runes will be totally free for all players. Come November, we're also going to merge IP with Blue Essence. Thank you guys again for taking a look at my video and joining me on my adventure through Season 7. I'll be making more videos for Season 8. Hope you guys come and take a look. Uh, I'm, on, I'm in Discord all the time, and I'll be on Twitch really soon. Have a great evening, and thanks again for your time.